Hey guys, I'm Ben Fankhauser, and today I'm going to answer a question I hear a lot. It's, can Agent Force integrate with live chats and Einstein bots? The short answer is yes, absolutely. Um, but what's interesting is the companies typically go through a process when they're figuring out how to make this. It's kind of like a crawl, walk, run progression. So let me explain. First up is the crawl. This is where most companies are today. Most companies are probably just routing all customer conversations directly to a human agent after the customer has gone through some type of chatbot menu item, some sort of thing like that. It's simple, it's straightforward, and a good way to make sure customers are getting the support they need. The issue with that is that if your customers are like me, some of those customers are going to bypass everything entirely and get to an agent as quickly as possible. I know I do that with airlines. Like I'm like, okay, I don't wanna go through these menu items, just let me talk to an agent. This is why we see so many support teams bogged down with chats and customer interactions. Support teams want to get out of this. And with that in mind, what is the next step? Pun intended. Next step is walking. And what does that mean? It means we are layering on AI to the chatbot. This is where chatbots come in to handle basic inquir inquiries, things like answering FAQs and collecting initial details. But when the customer needs more personalized support, the chatbot hands the conversation off to an agent force agent. It's a great way to balance the efficiency of balance efficiency with a human touch. Once this step is taken, then you and your company can really start to excel. And the way that you excel is by running. Now, the, getting to the run, stain, run stage means by this point, your agents are fully up to speed and can handle any questions and act on those questions. So at this stage, the AI has been trained well enough that any customer interaction can be handled by them. They can go and change the email address on accounts. They can resolve case issues. They can recall orders or something like that. At this stage, what will happen is a lot of companies will move away from chatbots entirely and focus instead on delivering a fully human first experience with generative AI. And in extremely complex cases, humans. With Agent Force, you can make this transition smooth and ensure that your customers feel taken care of of every step of the way. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up your system to walk and run with Agent Force. I'm not going to show you all of the details, but I'm going to show you the framework that you can use, how you can get your system, your chatbot system up to a walking speed, and then ultimately the final step after you've trained your AI agent on how to transition to the run stage. So let's get into the demo. So this stage assumes, this demo assumes that you have messaging in app and web uh, up and running and that you're already using omni-channel routing for that. So here is our messaging channel. It's called messaging in app and web. And we are starting with a messaging start Omnichannel flow. If we go to the messaging start omnichannel flow, you can see we are in a we are in a walk a crawl stage. We are essentially taking a messaging session and moving it, routing it to a bot, and the bot is called Luna Bot. So that's the first stage. Now, what is what does a walk look like? Well, a walk looks like we're going to go to the Luna bot and in any situation where you have set up an agent that can take care of cases or take care of something, you're going to route to the agent force AI agent. And so what happens in this bot is they get welcomed and then it goes to a main menu. If they click on cases, it'll go to the cases dialog. 
And here is where, hey, I don't need menu items to help this individual get rid of their cases. I have an AI agent that can do that for them. And so what you do is you set up a routing type of omni-channel flow and the omni-channel flow is what is then going to essentially transfer the messaging session to the AI agent. So what does the omni-channel flow look like? Well, it looks like this. Very similar to the routing to an AI, to a chatbot. The only difference is that instead of routing to a bot right here, you select route to an agent for service agent. And then once you collect that, you can click uh, the service agent that you want to route to. Once that's saved, now you are at a walking stage where your chatbot has, well, AI has been layered onto your chatbot and now your chatbot can say, under certain circumstances, route to an AI agent to take action. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start the messaging session here. And LunaBot joined. Now, if I click on cases, it's gonna see I had this messaging for you, mess this message come up for you. I'm gonna route you to an agent force agent right away to help with your case. And now you can see that the agent force service agent joined. So we're now in a walking stage where we have layered on AI to help with the chatbot. Now, the next step is getting rid of the chatbot entirely. And what does that look like? Well, there are a couple things you'll have to do beforehand. Number one, you're going to have to train your AI agent, whether that's a sales agent or a service agent or a custom agent. You're gonna have to train it to do everything that you want it to do. So that means creating topics, creating instructions, and also creating actions. So those actions can be flow-based or Apex-based, but you will have to create those, action, create those actions. After that, what you do is with live messaging, if we go back to the messaging channel, you can see that we have an omni-channel routing that routes to a bot. So this messaging start routes to a bot. You can completely bypass that and go immediately to an agent force agent. So I can select agent force agent and then agent force service agent. Now, what does that look like? Well, what it looks like is as soon as you start the messaging session, or as soon as your customer starts a messaging session, it's going to immediately route to the agent force service agent. So we got to refresh this page. Oh, got to end this conversation. Now we can start this conversation again. And instead of a bot, now you have completely moved on from chatbot. So you have learned how to walk and now you are running and you can run with AI. So that is how you will transition and go from crawl to walk to run. And hopefully that will enable your, your service support team to focus on process oriented questions instead of just resolving cases for customers. If this was helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, stick around for more walkthroughs. And hey, if your company could use help setting this up, reach out to the Solve team. We'd love to help you figure it out and make the process easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.